over the last 30 years, we haven't known so much about the long-term implications of head injury, right? So now we're seeing early dementia. Mm. We also, over the last 30 to 40 years, have had this lull in this hiatus in psychedelic research, and we haven't really appreciated the long-term implications of mm. psychological trauma. So it's fascinating how both the fields of neurology and psychiatry, i.e. psychology, depends on if you have an MD or a PhD, and you know how you look kind of through, the, through that lens, mm. but we're seeing the long-term implications of trauma, whether it's a brain injury or a mind injury. So it doesn't seem coincidental to me that both of these fields that have historically been really pessimistic, neurology and psychiatry, it's like, okay, we can diagnose you, but we have marginal therapeutics. In psychiatry, you have depression, anxiety, PTSD, addiction, pain. Great. We've got talk therapy. We have uh, psychopharmaceuticals. And not to make either of those wrong, um, it significantly helps to have a therapist that um, believes in a person and holds a safe container to have that person get to know themselves better. Um, and it can help to have psychopharmaceuticals online, especially in acute, really severe symptomatology. It's, and, and even more so if that's all that person has as the primary tool. So if somebody's standing mm. on the ledge and they have access to pharmaceuticals, I'm going to say take the pharmaceuticals. Yes. But ideally only doing that while we're looking at the underlying cause and the underlying issues because medications are not designed to fix the core issue. Mm -hmm. They're ideally setting a safe space, particularly if somebody's acutely symptomatic and they can't take care of themselves well, they're not able to function in their life well, or they're not able to take care and take um, their own safety needs or they're, they're dangerous potentially to themselves or other people. That's where we in acute care, ER, OR, triage care management as an allopathic Western medical system, we're really good in acute care management. Mm. But we're really shitty in preventative care and chronic care management. So we're seeing this massive revolution in these two primary fields. And psychedelic therapies are phenomenal because they're really positioned between both of those. Psychedelic therapies, when done well, are very much a psychological aid as well as a neurological aid.